channel i'm in our hotel room because we're still like in la for beauty con but i wanted to show y'all like what we really got at beauty con because i've seen a lot of videos from beauty con the last beauty con and it was really bad but i want to show y'all like what we really got i'm not gonna go through everything because y'all it's honestly so much stuff we had the bag weighed more than my friend's kids like she was carrying the bag and she was like this bag weighs more than my son this is ridiculous so we literally had to take the bags back to our hotel and then like try to go enjoy beauty con but yeah i'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that i got some of the stuff i've tried already and some of the stuff i'm really excited to try so first i have this ace beauty palette y'all can see and it has i opened it already but i didn't swatch it but look how pretty this palette is y'all and i don't even do like eyeshadow like that for real but this is motivation to start trying new looks and stepping out of my comfort zone another cool thing that i really like was we got a lot of hair products like full size products like this is from mio organic this is a detangling co-wash this texturizing shampoo i probably won't use this on my real hair but i'll use this on my weave though i would be seeing this in target camille rose aloe whip butter gel these are like how many ounces is eight ounce product like this is huge huge product what else what is this hydrating conditioner from cantu like it's new texture line i've never seen this in the store but i'm interested in trying it this is from aveda they gave us the shampoo and the conditioner for this which is crazy there's a huda palette somewhere in here this is a covergirl palette this looks like uh what was it watch the throne <laughs> jay-z and kanye west cd cover um yeah but it's literally a full-size palette from covergirl where that huda palette goes so i can show y'all Oh, this is a Spectrum palette. I didn't swatch this, but these colors look popping. Can y'all see this? Popping. I got lots of, like, CBD cannabis stuff from EcoStyle. I think this is, like, some of their newer products. This is a primer from a new, like, Korean beauty place. Oh, this. I really want to shout this place out. This is called... What was it? Whoops. This is Honey Skincare, and I'll probably leave that information in the description box. This is a black-owned skincare company, and their stuff smells so good. I literally can't wait to try it, so you guys should just check them out. Honey Skincare, and it's all made with, like, honey and argan oil, I think is what she told me. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is not Shea Moisture. Where is it at? <laughs> this is something else, but this is a big-ass bottle of weightless shampoo. I don't know this brand, though. Y'all, it's so much stuff, like... I can't even, I would never be able, this will be a long ass video if I just sat here and went through everything. Oh, here goes some Shea Moisture leave-in treatment. What else? Um, some stuff from this brand called Win. I, I remember when I used to work at Sephora, I'm pretty sure that we used to sell this when I worked at Sephora. And y'all, excuse me, I'm just sitting here in my robe because this is real life. I'm ch sitting on the floor chilling in my robe. And that's what we're doing right now in the hotel. Got a lot of like these little not little these are like real packets like real sample packets i know in one video we watched it was like the girl said everything looked like ketchup packets <laughs> but we got real sample packets a lot of face masks nice face masks what else oh well, that's another little palette this doesn't look to me like it's very pigmented but i'm curious to try it actually can i open this we'll see because sometimes you know you be sleep on the cheap brands and you never know. Let's try this blue. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. You can talk to me. <laughs> oh, you're eating. <laughs> this is crazy, though. What is that? What this brand? is... What brand? Look at that. What brand? This is City Color B Luster wow. Eyeshadow. That's crazy. It's really soft. Yo. That's wild as hell. Oh, 25% off Urban Skin RX. They didn't even put anything in here. And that that was really kind of disappointing. I actually ended up buying some stuff from the Urban Skin RX booth just because I really love their skincare and I really do feel like it changed my life. But I think all they put in here was a sample packet in the beauty bag and I thought they would have put like something more. Oh, we got Lime Crime and Dose of Color Lippies. Lots of mascara, huh? Oh, and NYX, and NYX, and lots of mascaras. So many mascaras. 
Um, Pixie, I've never like tried any of their stuff, but I see Pixie and Target a lot. Some, what is this? These nail polish strips. Bosha face mask. I love this face mask a lot. This face mask is popping, for real. And so we got two actually, one in the goodie bag and one we like walked up to the booth and basically if you follow Bosha on Instagram, they give you a free mask. But what we learned was after walking past some of the booths, all the stuff that we got in the goodie bag, we it was like what they were giving out at the booths or like smaller versions at the booth. So we really didn't need to walk around and get free product. It was more like if we wanted to exercise the use of like the discounts they were offering at those booths. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, we got Poopery, and I've been wanting to use this. I've heard so many good things about it, and it smells really good. A lot of these products smell really, really good. Tati Lashes. We got what? Oh, Tati Lashes. I never heard of Tati Lashes before coming to, um, I almost called this Complex Con. Coming to Beauty Con. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, here's the Huda palette, finally. So this is the Huda palette that we got. The Huda palette looks a little chalky compared to the blue and gold on that other palette look. And it looks more chalky? Yeah. Yeah, swatches can be a little suspect. Yeah, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. We're going to get it popping with the, with the palette. What else did we get that was super good? Oh, this eye cream. I gotta show y'all, it's like a cannabis eye cream and I tried it and it was popping. Where is that at? This cannabis eye cream, it felt really, really refreshing underneath my eyes. I really, really liked it. It's CBD and Manuka honey, calming, CBD calming eye cream. There were a lot of CBD products, like a ton. This, it's called Fountain of Truth and it's on, Ulta.com. This was fifty-eight dollars. I think it was. Yeah, sixty. Something. Something really insane. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Something insane, but I guess on par for like a, a eye cream that you would get for a higher end brand. It's called Fountain of Truth Magic Wand, and this is super cooling on the eye, which I really really like. But yeah guys, I'm not about to sit here and go through all of this because it's way, way, way too much product. But I thank you guys for watching. Not too much product, but worth it. Yeah, too much product to go through, but worth it to get go to BeautyCon and get it. So we got the $200 VIP hauler passes and we went and got our bags early. Wait, and tell them what it included. What? The what? $200 thing included. Oh, we got early admission and the bag of it's supposed to be like samples, but it's like a, it's really full size goodies, like full size products. And that's all it included, right? Oh, and, and first, fast track and through like the lines. Oh, no, the entrance it should have been. Oh yeah, through through security. Through security, like the security line. So like, we didn't have to wait in like the long general admission line to get in. We could just fast track through the security line if we came like after um, general admission was able to come in. But I definitely recommend getting this one because honestly, it was so calm before <laughs> the general mission came in. <laughs> it was like, what it like, what is it like when they open the gates, like the floodgates of hell, just like oh, <laughs> just like opened up, and people just like it was crazy. General mission is a whole nother beast. But when it was just like all the people that had the VIP hauler um, wristbands, it was really chill. The lines were super short. You could interact with um, the people at the booths and stuff. Um, one thing that I did notice is that something that I watched in another video is that people did not know what was going on. They were confused. The um, the beauty con staff, the people that actually worked for like the actual arena kind of seemed like they kind of knew what was going on. But the beauty con staff seemed to not know everything that was happening. And from an events perspective, I can understand how because mostly everything's on a need to know basis. But the staff was very uneducated still. But overall it was a great experience and i would definitely go back like i would definitely come back i don't know if i would go to new york <laughs> <laughs> but we love la <laughs> yeah. la was popping it was good it was good even um eco gave us like little cute little travel samples like 
just so much random stuff this i'm pretty sure i saw this brand in target like i'm almost sure i saw this in target this is the all natural feminine wash which i like feminine washes and even like this giant thing of collagen and collagen is not cheap so i think we definitely well we know that we definitely got way over 200 dollars in product because we added a lot of this stuff up and the stuff that we did add up was almost $400. So it was definitely, definitely worth it. But all right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.